Peace, welcome, and greetings to the fifth annual and totally virtual Bridge PHL Theater Festival. I'm Merlin Brown, co-founding director. We have an exciting lineup of performances this year that I hope you will enjoy. We want to thank all of the artists who are participating in the festival this year. We also want to thank our fabulous technical team from the Rotunda, including Gina Renzi and Dean Myers. And of course, thanks to all of you for being here. Since our beginning five years ago, the mission of the Bridge PHL has been to foster healing connections between diverse communities, encouraging openness and dialogue on racial oppression, privilege, inclusion, intersectionality, and bias through powerful acts of theater. But we would like to caution you. The pieces we present at the Bridge PHL frequently explore some difficult subject matter explicitly. We embrace our artists' bravery wholeheartedly and ask that you please take that into consideration when viewing this work. Please join us down in the chat during this performance. And if you have any questions or comments for the artists, please also note them in the chat. We will be sure to pass those on to the artists and we'll post some of their responses on our social media and website. Thank you again for joining us and enjoy the show.
Okay, so for your assignment for next week's session, I want you to make a pros and cons list of your life's choices, and we'll talk the same time next week. Okay, bye. Where is he? He should have been here by now.
Yes, though. I found Uncle William. I know you did it. You broke the rules. You involved family. You know how important that is to me. I mean, sinners sin, lovers love, but money is money. For the love of money, though? Really? So that's how we're playing it. Okay. Game on. I never wanted anything from him, and he never wanted me to have anything. But your grandfather would want it to stay in the family. Why is that? Wendy, you're a shatternick. Either way, people will want to be in your shoes, and they will try and take it away from you. You know it's dangerous to do business with the predictable ones. I bet you he brought you here. Sounds just like them. Look, let's just cut Mr. Blue Knight out, and I'll work directly with you. Look. I told you you can't have it. It's not for sale. Money is no object. There's no price tag on it. Your life would be cheaper. I see you still like hanging out with the trash. Ah. <laughs> Foreplay. <laughs> I see you still like it rough. You like it rough. I do. And I know you love it too. Don't go get no soft on me now. This what you like. I told that dead bitch of yours. You're predictable. Now where is it? Well played. Game ain't over yet. <laughs> so this is what death looks like, huh? Oh, don't worry about death. He's a real good friend of mine. You can just pull the trigger. When I think of the state the world is in
girl, please. His bark is way worse than his bite. <laughs> right. Girl, I cut this. You don't have to worry about me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> oh, girl, let me go um check on dinner. I think this is him coming. Okay. Talk to you later. Is dinner ready? Why isn't dinner ready yet, Shonda? I mean, really. You've been home all day. There's no excuse. Probably sitting on the phone talking to your silly ass girlfriends, huh? I swear, you have got to be the slowest woman in the damn kitchen. Your food is almost done and I've made your favorite. How was your day? But is my dinner ready though? Huh? Don't ask me about my day. It was a day. A bad day. Okay, okay, okay. I'll go check on you for a minute. Let me rub your shoulders to help you relax. Girl, don't touch me. Worry about my damn food. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I swear. If I don't get my dinner, it's going to be trouble. And after the day I've had, you don't want this trouble, Shonda. Okay, 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 okay. Make sure it's hot, too. Not playing with you. This girl. Here you go, baby. Nice and hot. This food is not hot like how I asked. Girl. I, could, I, I could go make some more. Don't you know how hard I work? I, I do to know. To put food on our table? I do know, but huh? I could go make some The least your ass can do is make sure that my food is hot and ready when I get home. <laughs> Shonda, you know I like my food hot and ready when I get home from work. Why do you make me go off on you like this? I mean, I, I do my best to try to please you and to get things right for you. But you never get it right, do you? And you know how that sets me off. Now look at you. You know we got a party to go to tomorrow night. Make sure you cover that up. Yeah, it, it'll be fine, babe. Um, I got ice on my face now, and it'll be perfect for the party tomorrow. It better be. It better be for your sake. Why are you always so damn slow, Shonda? I mean, really. You can't seem to follow simple instructions. All that I ask is that we get there ready and on time. And you can't seem to get that right. Oh, babe, 
baby, I'll do better next time. Next time? <laughs> See if I take your ass anywhere. Talk about next time. But babe, I... Matter of fact, get out. Go walk. Go walk or something. What? Huh? But what? What? No more, John. No more. What? Get back in this car, Simon. Get back, here, Simon. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. No! She speaks not through her mouth. Her eyes scream it. Holding back, fighting to survive silence. Engulfed in a vicious cycle of pain, her life's struggle, the warfare she feels trapped her under his control afraid to tell her lips can't say what her future will hold his love and trust became her enemies she must hum her freedom until free dimmed Jaded, lifeless smiles, isolated, held captive in the grip of iron fists. Keeping her secrets from leaking through lips to save others along paths, just like her. Eyes faded by terror, sinewed fingers, her words held hostage, holding back her truth. Her virtue suffocated by evil, oppressed by hands restraining empty beings. Gone her joy, stripped from her, against her will taken prisoner without her consent. Tears that overshadowed her beauty marks, she's cried enough. A sentence, sadness, her. She breaks free out of those chains. Her voice will rise the day she finds the strength to say no more. Oh.